Connectivity between peers is important to enable growth and learning, but the pandemic saw many people cut off and isolated. During this time, Joy FE was born, building a network of like-minded people and allowing the sharing of ideas in this time of change. It was a five-minute conversation at the start of the first lockdown that led these ladies to create Joy FE, a digital space that encourages collaboration, creative thinking and innovation. So it brings people together around a, an affirmative identity, a sense of belonging. And joy as a practice is relational, that's what it's about. It's not about commodities, it's about people and the energy between people. So it's a really anti-competitive space. It is genuinely a collective, it's genuinely collaborative. People don't compete with one another at all. And I think it brings that sense of, yeah, it's belonging, it's shared hope. Joy FE is going from strength to strength, having supported its members through the challenges of the pandemic. There was an overwhelming voice for people wanting the spaces to come together and say, well, what are you doing? How are you doing it? And how are you? We actually took to that space to see if we were all okay and collectively make sure that people felt supported um, because that can be variable, you know, depending on the team you work in. Joy FE is all about everybody being invited and everybody being able to have a go at everything. Once a week, there's an open invitation to the ideas room. Anybody can come to that, but teachers um, specifically come and talk about their practice. They talk about work they're doing with their students and they just think through their ideas. But in that, they also talk about their challenges. I'm looking to um, sort of work on a profile for it, if anybody's interested in thinking through how it would look. It seems like it just helps people to process the world, but mainly the world of education, because it's hard. It's hard in education and people just want to connect and share their thinking. This shared thinking is highlighted in Joy FE's monthly online magazine. The magazine also celebrates teaching practice, education in general. I suppose also supports teachers in a way that they can access in their own time, read about what other people think and what they're doing with their students, and then potentially go away and adopt some of that for themselves. Joy FE are delighted the Amplify FE network has recognised their work and their message by featuring them on their further education community map, highlighting some of the best practice across the sector. Amplify FE and Joy FE are really important parts of the FE and vocational education ecosystem. Working in collaboration with industry and partnerships within institutions and between institutions are crucial to helping students succeed, particularly when it comes to digital technology. But there is a large network of communities and individuals who share practice, who come together to try and find solutions. And when you think about how quickly technology changes, that sort of knowledge sharing and working together is really essential, keeping pace with innovation. Joy FE has come a long way in a short space of time, but there's still work to be done, including when it comes to diversity. So I've got much braver in the last 18 months at, at finding the words, at saying, sorry if this sounds clumsy, but look how white we are. You know, what are the things we can do to hear from you? If you had a key message to give, what would that message be? Joy sounds like just such a little word, doesn't it? But it's got a history. And that history is about how we relate to other people. And relating joyfully means just embracing joy as a practice of life. If you can do that, everybody feels better. And if you want some help in doing that, you are invited to connect with us in any way at Joy FE. So when it comes to bringing joy to education, the key qualification is collaboration.